taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food. Tasties, welcome to T-A-S-T-E, buds and buddies. You might prefer- Tasties and buddies. Tasties is a new one. I like saying my little tasties. Yeah, tasties and buddies. Taste- are you Maybe the tasty? buddies are the boys and the tasties are the gals. Why do you got to gender it? Nah, Let people know. live. It's true. But it's you true. could. we could do shirts. Are you a tasty? I'm a tasty. I'm a buddy. Oh, okay. That's you know? fun. Happy Halloween. <laughs> hey, happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, it's Halloween. Uh, we should just put this up like randomly and not make it the Halloween episode. And just That would be very funny. <laughs> we, have, uh, we have our battle today is a worst candy bar or worst candy bar. It's the Almond Joy versus the Three Musketeers. I will be Team Musketeers. Uh, Sal will be Team Almond Joy. We'll get to it when we get to it. But uh, that's that's what's happening today on today's episode. When you say Team Almond Joy, it means I like Almond Joy. You're yeah. battling the worst, so you're actually Team Almond Joy, no? No, I'm Team Musketeers. Not to be confused, I think the Three Musketeers is not good, and you think the Almond Joy is not good. Yeah, and I think the... Um, the uh, we'll get to it. Isn't Almond? It's Almond, isn't it? Almond. The L is silent. It's no. not Salmon. It's like Salmon. Almond. No, almond. Are you sure about that? I thought it was almond. I mean, I'm not sure about anything. I'm sitting here can in a hot dog the, can suit. Can we get to the... I know, actually, this is hot. Is it? Yeah. This is breathing very well, but it's not the most comfortable thing to have around your head. This is hot. Yeah? You're not hot? Not at all. Ooh, I'm dying in here. Let's see what the uh, pr- correct pronunciation on the internet is of almond. Yeah. Can you get louder? Do you hear an L? Yeah. Can can you can you go to the phonetics uh, pronunciation the way it says it on the like underneath the definition? How to pronounce almond the right way? Both almond and am end are correct. But both that both of those are L's. What do you mean? Um, all. Al, almond or the almond. second one, um, that's insinuating an, an it's it's recognizing the L. No, it's the L's missing. A M E A M. Oh, I see what you mean. Almond. Almond. Oh, okay. I, is, is the L silent in almond? Is what no, I no, it's know. not. Same both. Click, click 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 on the link that that says how to pronounce almond the right way. It's saying all three are accepted. Okay. Oh, was that part of that article? Oh, got you. Yeah. All right. Well, then touche, touche, touche. But salmon, salmon is not. You can't say salmon. I always laugh when I hear someone say salmon. No, salmon is nuts. Salmon. Sal- In fact, that's a Seinfeld. Salmon Rushdie. Yeah, when he goes, he goes, Phil Bass, Bass, Salmon. And he <laughs> yeah, goes, yeah. it's salmon, not salmon, you idiot. Yeah. 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 That's a great one. Uh, oh, America's favorite Halloween candy is already ranked. I will say, though, when you get into Halloween candies, happy Halloween, everybody. When you get into Halloween candies, though, there are uh, candies that come into play that are not in anyone's regular rotation. Now, we they, got, only get, they only get pushed during Halloween. This is pretty interesting. It's a uh, state map in each state's favorite Halloween candy, if you want no to No shit. Um, the Mighty Venetia brought in many candy bars today, some of which are bangers. We got, a, we got an extra large Reese's Cup over there. Let's, put these all, let's sprinkle these all over here. Um, but I actually, For on air... Because we're arguing worse candy bars, I yeah. pulled. We both pulled runner up. I agree with for out of the selection that that she brought of like other ones that are like who gives a shit candy bars. Will, by the way, this is, this is the uh, today's attitude. <laughs> it's raining fucking chocolate. Yeah. Um, I will say that I out of the out of the things we had to pull, we had to choose from. I think the biggest scam is the Three Musketeers. Right, we'll get to that. Okay, I'm saying though. In the meantime, yeah, we pulled some other ones that we, we think are ones. like waste. Uh, get, get off my shelf, candy bars. Yeah, like I, I I'd mean, like I, to taste them with you. Okay, some of these. No, well, listen, candy's candy, right? So like, some there's some candy bars I don't like. I don't see many here that I don't like, but I wouldn't get this, and I think it's a scam. I wouldn't get the Hershey white chocolate with cookies well, and cream, neither would which I. is V's favorite candy bar of all it's time. Insane. It's insane. It's I a, have a love hate relationship with talk. white chocolate. When I was little, I liked it. Then I didn't like it. Then I'm like, when I'm in the mood for it. That, that is good, this though, came because, out of the, so because of the chocolate, the actual cookies and cream crunch inside. This, to me, is Van Hagar. It's like, what are you guys doing, man? You mean the comic strip? No, Van Halen, when Hagar came in. and they Oh, called okay. It, this isn't what even, am I thinking? The hold comic on. Strip? This isn't Hagar even, the Horrible. This isn't even Van Hagar. This is Van, what was the third singer? Helsing? 
The, no, remember Wilder? when the guy? Remember when they brought the guy in from Extreme to sing for Van Halen okay. on that third thing? I was like, guys, stop. Yeah, this to me is that. I was like, Hershey, what are you doing? You don't see it as an innovation? No. What's it called? What's the proper name of it? Cookies and cream. Hershey's white chocolate cookies and cream. That's on the regular shelf all the time. Yeah, that was the regular. That all of these, I just the only. First one of I, all, oh god, sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. I think that that's similar to Crunch, don't you? And you like Crunch. Oh, the no, Nestle's this Crunch. Is nowhere it's near the white crunch. crunch version. No, what are you nuts? Well, this is this, this is rice crisp like crispies, and those are I think chalk like almost like the equivalent of like an Oreo pieces. Maybe mm-hmm. first of all, I want to point out about the Hershey's cookies and cream. It's such an odd color that it starts to look blue. And they even made the packaging have blue highlights because it matches it. The, the candy bar looks blue, which is off. It has a hue to it. I'll would, I would give you that. Let's try I, it. I, I, miss, I miss, by the way, I'm looking at all these. I miss old school candy bar wrap. It's like the old school crunch was wrapped. It was wrapped in foil. And then there was another paper yeah. wrapper over it, and you broke it out very, from the back. Very Willy Wonka. Yeah. The, like everything now is just in these baggies. I'm sure it, maybe it's cheaper and keeps it fresher, but. All right. All right. Cookies and cream. I always think people do not like for us to eat. They want us to eat, but I think they're wrong. (laughs) I mean, that tastes like an Oreo, so I don't know what to say there because that tastes good. You know what I'll say to it? I'm taking another piece. Yeah. I don't like it. You really don't like this? I actually, this just made me say, don't put it on the list. It tastes like an all cream Oreo. I don't like it. It just tastes like no, sugar. That's kind of what I like about it, though. It Let just tastes stop. like sugar to me. It tastes like that's why I don't like Krispy Kreme donuts. They just taste like sugar. Mm. There's no, there's no je ne sais quoi to it. I don't all know, right. man. That 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 was good. Mm. Second, I'm with you. You turn me. I'm not into it. V, you're stupid. <laughs> uh, second is the payday. This thing to me is just an insult I, to candy bar. <laughs> it's just an insult I, to put can to put peanuts in the form of a candy bar. Yeah. I go look, it's candy. They were like, it's almost like a, a health food trick. To, yeah, <laughs> get a bunch of peanuts to stick together. It's bold to go into the market of chocolate and then not have chocolate and say this is where we, we want to live. As not well. only not have chocolate to make the peanuts the crux of it. Yeah, the peanuts are the ball. It's not like there's peanuts inside. The outer layer. They put it on the outside. It is all peanut. It's 100 percent peanut all the time, isn't it? But I got to be honest with you. Now, again, this is one that I wouldn't pick up off the shelf. But if and when the time comes, especially at Halloween, these are the, some of these candy bars. This is always a, a mini in Halloween. That's when I have it. I only have it at Halloween. Just like the hundred grand. Hundred grand would be nothing without Halloween. I got to be honest with you. No one's taking a full size hundred grand off the shelf, but they are throwing it in in the can. I got to be honest with you. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's yeah, really yeah. good. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> fun. is it peanut butter, peanuts, and caramel? What is it? It's popping, baby. Whatever it is. Right, it's, pe- <laughs> it's folks. Joe DeRosa here. Telling you to come on out and see me live because it's a hot dog of a time. I'm doing my new one-man show. I never promised you a rose garden all over the place. November 8th for the New York Comedy Festival here in New York, New York. On December 8th, uh, we are doing We'll See You in Hell live in St. Petersburg, Florida. But then on the 9th and 10th, I will be doing the one-man show. I never promised you a rose garden. Uh, Austin, Texas, January 13th and 14th. Uh, January 20th and 21st. Governors in Levittown. We are adding new dates all the time for venue info and tickets. Please go to joederosainfo.com. Also, Joey Roses is now open seven days a week, starting at 11.30 a.m. every day. The man was too high. Had to expand hours, expand days. Come on out and see us. Seven days a week, 11.30 a.m. every day, joeyrosesnyc.com. All right, guys, the Impractical Jokers are back on the road after three years. We just announced the tour. It's called the Drive, 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 Drive Tour. Tickets are available at impracticaljokerslive.com. All cities across the country. We, we start off in Pittsburgh at the PPG Paints Arena. We'll be coming to the Prudential Center in Newark, the UBS Arena in Long Island, so on and for, so forth. Everything's on sale right now. And then uh, that starts in February. Before that, my only two months left of touring are November and December. November uh, 11th, Knoxville. November 12th, two in Atlanta, Georgia. One just sold out. So if you want to get tickets, get it to the second show. 
13th, November 13th in Alabama. And then we got November 18th in Louisville and November 19th in Evansville. December will be California and Florida. Check it all out right now at SalVolcanoComedy.com. Everything's on sale. Merch is available there for everything. Pick up some merch. I'll see you on the road. Peanuts. Oh, it's peanuts and caramel. And I, it might have peanut butter. Let's see. It tastes like what you want peanut, peanut butter to taste like. That's really good. This is... Hmm? It's for all the people that want us to eat on here. This is good. Yeah. I enjoy this. This is very nice. Yeah. I like it. I like it as an alternative to chocolate. I really like that. And I can't eat chocolate. Mm. The God. candy bars, I get I get like a, my weird reaction thing. And I got it actually from the Hershey. That actually cleans <laughs> the palate. But I now when I get a candy bar, two. I stand corrected on two. I think I have a candy bar I can get now. I'm going to get the payday because I can't have the chocolate. Usually. Payday is also a pretty fun name. What do you think has the best tw- Twix? I just coughed on the wrapper. Sorry. <laughs> I can't believe I just, I was covering, I was covering not thinking. He didn't even notice, man. You could. <laughs> Don't do me like that. <laughs> All right, you won't taste this one. I've Can never you extract it out of the wrapper without like fu- getting, you probably like, getting all your germs yeah, yeah, on actually, it? Actually, wait. Here's what I'll do. I'll split oh, it. <laughs> and then you pull it out of the wrapper. I'll just break a piece. Okay. Like it's a Kit Kat. Who am I breaking a piece? <laughs> hold on. Now, hold on. Let me say this. Wait, we got, we baby Ruth. I'm getting chocolate. I have never had one of these. Really? I've never had a Baby Ruth. The only reason I knew of Baby Ruth was because of Goonies. Caddyshack. No Goonies, For baby me it was Caddyshack. Ruth. Remember, oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, Baby Ruth was the was what people mistook shit that was in the pool in Caddyshack. Yes, and then the guy eats it. What a classic movie <laughs> gag! The fat pool cleaner <laughs> picking up the the and eating it. The only better candy gag I've ever seen in a movie is in Police Academy Two. It might be three. When Mahoney, which one is Citizens on Patrol? I forget. Mm. I think it's two. Uh, they, those can't hold up, right? I got. I'm gonna. You know what, dude? I they're okay. We, I I want to watch one of those yeah. and see what's up. Oh wait, no, that's four. four. No, it's not four. What's two? The one where Bobcat Goldthwait is the bad guy. It's not. Was it's, that the one with the blue? Um, the blue. Their first assignment. I think it's in their first assignment. I might be wrong. Maybe it is Citizen on Patrol. But Mahoney, who's played by Steve Gutenberg, gets paired with the fat guy, who's the new cop. Okay. <laughs> This is such a great joke. They're walking in the cock. Mm-hmm. There's an open Nestle's Crunch sitting on the bed of a truck. Right. And the guy goes, look at this. Somebody just left a perfectly good Nestle's Crunch here. And there's a bite out of it. And Mahoney goes, ah, oh, no, man. You're not going to eat that, are you? And the guy goes, no wonder they left it here. There's ants all over it. <laughs> <laughs> and he brushes off the ants and starts to eat it. <laughs> What a great candy joke. Uh, all right. So can you read the ingredients in this? It's chocolate, caramel, and peanuts, I believe. That's it? Yeah. Oh, and no, no. Nougat. Talk, talking about my nougat. Nougat. And nougat. This is essentially a Snickers bar. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Peanuts, chocolate, car- This tastes nothing like a Snickers bar. I've never had one. I wouldn't the, know. The portions are different. I think Snickers goes harder on the caramel. Uh, let's taste it. I mean, it really does look like a turd. Yeah, it does look like a turd. <laughs> I think this is like, I taste this and it has all, for me, a baby Ruth, I taste it. Again, o- only I have it on Halloween when it's, but I taste I'm it. Like, spit it out. It's, it's, disgusting. It's, it's not good, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, because it, it's so weird that it has all the things that are good in other candy bars. Like, it has all the right ingredients. Snickers is delicious. It has chocolate, peanut, nougat, and caramel. It should taste good. The but then it, ever but then it doesn't, and I'm sorry to the people at Baby Ruth <laughs> that are supporting your families and stuff like that. I don't mean like that's the worst candy bar. There's people out there that like it. I just that's the worst candy bar. I've it's ever almost tasted. making me not want to bite it. It doesn't taste right. Something's weird about Something's it. Something's weird. They Something's don't, they weird. Don't I didn't come like that. Together to to make something greater than the, than the sum of their parts. <laughs> I almost wish you were arguing for that, but you don't like it either. Should I not eat this, son? Taste it. I know what it tastes like. Something's off. Man. Like Something's real. As soon as candy. you start chewing, it's off. 
Right? How could it have the same ingredients as a Snickers? Different people are making it. Mm. Something's off. That should be their slogan. <laughs> Baby Root, something's off. Um, it does not taste like this and has the same ingredients. It's not great. We should tell the audience, Joe just ate more of the payday. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's got a mouthful of nut. It's a mouthful of nut over there. Okay. I'm thrilled about the payday. Mm -hmm. This is a big day. Yeah, it's a payday. Mm -mm. Now, I've been off candy bars because of my chocolate thing. I have a candy bar I can eat now and enjoy. I am happy for you genuinely inside. Yeah, I am. Really? Yes, I am. Yes, Are I am. you really? Why wouldn't I be? I can't tell if you mean it. I do mean it. All right. <laughs> I do mean it. All right. I do mean it. Um, all right. We'll put these aside. Gonna, what I'm else is going like on before we get to the rush? And then, by the way, I also wanted to... Mr. Goodbar, you you immediately were like, you're crazy. That is a classic. Yeah, you're crazy. Is it? Yes. That's 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 a, a old school banger that's still around with no advertising, by the way. Nobody advertises Mr. Goodbar. But nobody advertises baby Mary Janes. They're still around. Nobody wants them. Good point. Good point. I, I would say I would say Mr. Goodbar. You know, and he you didn't know this. You don't buy the bags. You never come across the bags of the mini Hershey bars, and there's four in a bag, and it's Mr. Good Bar. It's it's uh it's crackle, which crackle is, is a which bomb. Is, which is crackle's crunch. a bomb. It's the exact same thing, um, but it's not Nestle. Crackle's then, the bomb. And then you got um the dark chocolate Hershey and the regular Hershey bar original, and I got to tell you every time and sound off in the comments, but every time. One of those assortment of the mini Hershey bars are put out at a party, at, at anything, I, anywhere I see them. The Mr. Good bars are the hot commodity out of that four. Out of those this four. is what bothers me, and I said this to you before we started. And then I go dark chocolate second. Why does Good Bar get its own name, its own fancy advertising and wrapper and all that stuff? And Hershey with almonds, it's just eh, it's Hershey with almonds. Give this a name and and and, a, and its own color wrapper and and and. And it's okay. Well, I think it just came from a different place, right? I mean, they, when they made the Mr. Good Bar, it was just called the Mr. Good Bar. It's only recently that they're like, well, and then later on, I think it's like Hershey's Mr. Good Bar. I think what they were doing here was they were trying to expand the original Hershey Bar to have other choices. And that, with. that was always just Mr. Good Bar from the get. And I will tell you this, I'm feeling the back of this. So my gripe with Hershey's with almonds is that there was never enough almonds. I don't like when they put almond slivers in it and stuff. This has whole almonds. Do you remember? I find there's an almond in every bite of a Hershey with almonds. <laughs> <laughs> sounded like literally sound like copy from a commercial. I'm serious now. Feel the back of that thing. It feels well, that, like it has tumors. That, that, <laughs> that's what, I know. This thing yeah. does feel like it has like like it should go get checked. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it, it has a lot actually, which I'm I I, I think that it, maybe they just restarted doing that because my biggest gripe when I would buy it and go like this and be like there's nothing in this thing. Did you as a kid and you guys as kids did you sell chocolate bars for school or yes no? you did? Did you go to Catholic school? No, I went to public school. And you still sold the bars? <laughs> was it Superior Chocolate? It was. And it, it was, was it the one with a free hamburger on the wrapper? I think so. I think they still had it. So yeah. they came in three bars: regular almonds or toffee or whatever it was. Yes. Right, they were a dollar each when we were little, and when we were little, they were this size and they were a dollar each. Mm -hmm. Now they're half the size, without a doubt, at least half the size as they used to be. They'd give us a cardboard box that had forty of them in there, or fifty, and you'd break it in half, and the two halves end up having like cardboard handles, like a Happy Meal. Yeah, yeah. and then you'd walk with them like a suitcase full of chocolate bars, and you'd sell them to family and friends, but door to door because it was prizes. They, they did that, right? Mm -hmm. They're incentivizing children. To go door to door selling sugar to other children and families to get prizes. It's crazy. And what was the rub? There was a rub on that. Somebody was getting, somebody was taking yeah, There was that always money a kid something. you could never beat because his dad brought him to the office and he worked at a Forbes 500 but, company. And somebody was like, I'll take 500 bars. But I mean, and that kid got the bike. It wasn't as simple as, hey, you go sell these candy bars and you get to win prizes. There was somebody benefiting from that that wasn't you or the customer, is my point. I think superior chocolate. Remember the kids no, but, but used to, they, they remember the kids used they to hustle? Them, they sold them for charity, though, wasn't it? I never saw it because well, yeah. I didn't grow up in this. Go ahead. It's very similar to the Girl Scouts. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They sell for charity, but then they also, when we were little, they every one of them, every single one of them, the wrapper was a coupon for a free McDonald's hamburger. Oh, 
every single wow. one. And the place was called Superior Chocolate. And I tell you this, at the time, now they've, like everything else, they've tried to get a better price point to get less less good ingredients. The Superior Chocolate Bars that we sold as a kid was this thick, and there was like a hundred lumps of full almonds on the back, and it was the best tasting chocolate. I re- better than like Godot. It was yeah. so good. I remember the generic. I don't remember if we had Superior or not. They probably gave it a different name every four states or whatever. Uh, but I remember the almond version of what we sold was excellent. And you used to sell, you know, I, sometimes I would sell two, three boxes. And the, then uh, I'd say, you know, you get, what would you get? I don't remember the prizes, but they weren't. I never knew this till I lived in New York, though, because I didn't grow up in the city. The kids that would hustle, they would just get candy yeah. and walk around and say, like, I'm it's selling this for my team. basketball yeah, team. And yeah. it was just so they could profit off of candy, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was such a brilliant thing. Yeah. Um, the, uh, oh, I was going to ask you something. Ask. I can't remember now. Are you, oh, wait. Do you have Halloween plans? For me, right now, I'm on the fence. Okay. I, there's, a, there's a couple of options, but I just, I might be tied up. I got you. I, we should talk offline. I, don't, I, 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 I got to find out where this is going. You, you guys, you, are you down to like clown again? Or? Yeah. I got to figure it out. For me, I got to figure out if I'll be involved. I, I, I'm in a similar position. I don't know if I can go out this Halloween. I'm really trying to stick to this health thing. And going I, I'm out. sorry, I cannot take you serious right now. <laughs> <laughs> you telling me you don't know? You, I'm just, trying to stick to this health thing. You have a processed meat head. I'm just on. a guy trying to cut the mustard. Right, I got gotcha. you. Uh, and it's been a real dog trying to stick oh to this. Oh my god, I got Listen, no beef with you not up. going. I know, I got no beef with you not going. But, but catch up. I know, and, and look, let us let us let us talk about all these things. <laughs> let, oh, let, okay. Wait, you would put lettuce on a hot dog though. Oh, wait, your lettuce. Sorry. Come on, man. Oh, God. What are you, you grilling you're me? Gonna cu- you're not going to cut the mustard? Are you grilling me? <laughs> oh. Oh. This is our 101st episode. 101, Congratulations. Baby. Thank you to all our listeners. I think we're now up to, like, for subscribers on YouTube, I think we're approaching 300,000 maybe. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then, of course, on uh, on Spotify. So thank you guys for supporting yeah, it's us. It's wild. 101 I mean, who knew? I mean, like, we got here. We broke 100, man. It's really wild. It's been a you really uh, uh, it's been a really easy, painless journey. And I'd like know, to sit here uh, and say it was yeah, a lot of work. Yeah. And, and I think to, to have this <laughs> much wasn't. fun, this painlessly for this long, I think is rare. Or at least it's medium rare. <laughs> you well, know, we planted, you know, well we, done, my friend. We well this, done. We planted the seeds. Give that what it deserves. We planted Give the, that what it deserves. You. We planted the seeds. <laughs> a couple of years ago, and at this point, you're right. The, <laughs> uh, listen, I mean, the, you're hot. I know you're really on a roll. Wow. The, uh, <laughs> the, I mean, until we can't, until someone can't get one, it's over. I might be out. I'm relishing in this. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> the uh, listen. So, oh Christ, I forget. I got nothing. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> No, you were telling me that you... Uh, well, recently- oh, trying to stick to the health thing. Yeah, yeah. I can't... I just don't know that I can go out on Halloween. Like, this soon to start, close to starting it, I don't know that I can go out on... I am allowed to, at some point, have fun again. It's just a little too soon, I think, to cash in on that. And yeah. Halloween is... I'm ready to take that chance again. What do you think? Barry Manilow? I think that you go out and just... You make sure you don't do the things you're not supposed to do, but you enjoy the um, the night and your friends. Do you think there's any way to enjoy the night and your friends when it's Halloween and everybody is getting shit-faced and you're just kind of hanging out? I don't um, think that that's I possible. I do think so. I do think so. I think it's going to take a slight mental preparation from you where you're going to say I'm going to go out right now with a pep in my step and a good attitude I'm going to have some laughs and I'm actually going to prove to myself that I can have a fun night sober and I honestly I think there's no better night to try that than running down the streets with your friends in costumes I mean the fun is there it's built in I mean you can have fun you could do it I would say like do something like just have something in your hand, like have a seltzer or something that you could kind of sip on or whatever. Perhaps. I know you're not gonna you're not gonna do any weed or anything. You won't do that. That's the thing. I don't. You know, there's no weed. Oh, why don't you, man? Why don't you make a life change? Because I I don't like it. <laughs> Let's break through that, Joe. I know. I know. <laughs> I've thought about that. Like maybe I can get through it, but I just don't like it. I don't like the way well, it makes maybe me you feel, do something especially in, the, in public. Maybe you could Jeez. do something in the ballpark of weed. No. Kratom. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one got that, dude. Ball, I gotta ballpark, tell you, ballpark Franks. I bruised. I bruised. By the way, that's what I did. Let me be frank. I, 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 I did that all at at um. I did that all at Skank Fest. You did weed. No, I did oh. nothing. I just did oh, what so you're saying. Had a good time. You said it was a great. I had time. a great time, but I was doing shows. Sure, very, very different. Bring on! I mic. was doing shows. It was. Oh, I'd film that. Do a set. Do a set. Oh God! If you went up like to the stand with that costume on and did a set, I would do it. In a, I would. I, I'm not committing to it because I'm, I'm lazy, but I would do it. I would. Have, I have no. I have no problem doing Think about it. About the clip. Think yeah, about yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm not even kidding, man. I bruised my rib at Skankfest. Um, and my doctor, it really, really hurt when I got home to the point where I couldn't like sleep. Every time I moved, it was terrible. It's, it's the fu- worst It pain. feels fine now. That rib pain is bad. Tender. My doctor gave me oxy, not cotton, not the bad one, the other one, oxycodone, whatever. Aren't He's they like, the same thing? No, they're oh. different. None he goes, are, none of them are good. But no, yeah. but he goes, take these so you can sleep at night because you're you need to relax the muscle. I took them for one day. Even that, of the effects of that, even that, I had to go lay down when I didn't want to go to bed and be like, you're cool, you're cool, you're cool. Don't freak out, don't freak out. I can't fucking stand anymore anything that takes over my senses that quickly and that hard. Drinking is the one thing I like because I feel like I can control it. And and then when you, if you do have too much, you either brown out or you throw up or you go, I got to go home, I'm hungry or, or whatever it is. Like your body's like, okay. And it's not, you feel like a physical altercation from it, but you do not feel, or hindrance rather, but you do not feel like, oh my God, like what is happening? And you know, like- Yeah, I, I get that. You're used I to it. Hate yeah, it. You know I how to do it. it. You you know how to navigate alcohol. Yeah. I, I, I just I just really I hate it. your rib again? Oh, yeah. I was running to get this Keith Robinson tattoo- uh, I was running out of uh, the. I would, I'd just done a set, and the comic, her name's Ariel. She's really lovely, uh, lovely person, and she's very funny. Or they, the girl they got, I, I don't mean to speak for. Is I don't that the girl know. That just got. I just got a beer thrown at her. No, Ariel. Oh. No, a different version. She might go. She might. It might be they. I'm sorry. I don't mean to genderize anybody. But anyway, my point is, is Ariel is a very lovely person and and very funny. So, um. Ariel was on stage, and I was I was like trying to get out of the showroom. You had to cut across the stage, like in front of the stage, to get out, and it was like linoleum or tile floor. And I was I squatted way down, and I was running because I wanted to make the appointment. Why'd and you squat? Because I, I you had to cross in front of the stage. I didn't want to like gotcha. obstruct and you know I was trying to be as discreet as possible. Gotcha. And then of course this happens. There was a puddle of beer on the floor. You wiped out in front of the stage. Dude, yeah. Uh, yeah. With the crowd watching? Dude, people had to, like, the show stopped. Like, people had to, like, people had to, like, get me off the ground. Dude, dude, I wipe, I'm telling you, I wiped so bad, I thought I, bro- I thought I might have broken my knee. Oh, my God. Yeah, which is funny. Like, I'm not well, trying to you be know, serious. You know, they, you know that's, that, that venue should have, I mean, it shouldn't be a pool oh, of. Start suing. Well, what am I going to do? Sue. Sue Skankfest. That's I'm, I'm fine. The venue, right? It was it was a it was a simple thing. It was somebody clearly spilled Sue, a beer Sue, during the jo- the show. Uh, the answer is always Sue. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But uh, did you fall because it was neglect? I think it had just happened. Somebody had just spilled something, and it was so. Jacoby and Myers. What do you yeah. say to the crowd? That the, the sh- what do you say? What's the first line out of you? Sue Dude, I wiped. No, no, no. Sue I wiped out. Fest. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Sue everybody. <laughs> I wiped out. Uh, I wiped out. The entire crowd went oh, and like people were. No one left. No, also, dude. It was bad. It was bad. Oh well, let me ask you a question. Do they were they videotaping sets? Oh. They somebody got pictures. <laughs> Excuse me. Somebody got pictures of me on the ground, but nobody has a video. Uh. I have pictures on my phone. It would have been wonderful. Um, not, not to, no, not, no, no. Not because you got hurt. Just no, to, I know. I, I wish there was a video too. Yeah. There wasn't. Um, no, and people like came up to me and they're like, "Bro, are you okay? Can you get up?" And I was like, and I, I at first you're just doing the thing where you're like, ah, fuck, 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 because I was just like, you're so embarrassed, but then also too, you don't want to like make noises like you're in pain. <laughs> right. So you're just like trying to like wind knocked out of you. No, luckily, no. but. Oof. I, and then I interrupted her, and then she's on. 
the Ariel's on stage going like, are you okay? Like, can you get up? Like, it was the worst case scenario. Jesus. Of course it was. Why would anything in my life be a decent case scenario? It's got to be the worst case scenario. Can you clip uh, that whole thing of him in the hot dog head and just use that for when we need it? Please, please. How, how great would it have been if it was like, it was that was on Halloween weekend, and when you ran by, you were in that outfit when you fell. <laughs> All bets are off. All man. these guys were standing over me, and I can gender these. I know that the guys at Skankfest go as go by guy. <laughs> have you guys heard about Amazon Pharmacy yet? The Amazon that you're thinking has a has a pharmacy now, and you can get your sub- prescriptions mailed right to your door. Uh, you know. You don't have to leave the house. One thing I hate doing is actually for real going to the to pharmacy and either I either for some reason the pharmacy has different hours in the, the front of the store and it's closed or I'm getting online and people are listening to listening to what medicine I need. Um, Amazon Pharmacy uh, saves you time, they saves you money, and it keeps you healthy. They, there's transparent pricing, so you know what you're paying before, and then Prime members can get up to 80% off their subscriptions, prescriptions, subscriptions. I messed that up. But check this out. If you ever have any questions or problems, real pharmacies are available at Amazon Pharmacy no matter what time of day or night, 24-7. Medication delivered to your door, so there's no more rushing to the store. A pharmacy that works for your life with meds delivered to your door. It doesn't get any better than that. Switch to Amazon on pharmacy and save time, save money, and stay healthy. Learn more at amazon.com slash buds. That's amazon.com slash buds. Amazon.com slash buds. Uh, average savings based on, I'm not having a stroke here. They listed it three times. Average savings based on usage and inside RX data as compared to cash prices. Average savings for all generics are 78%, 37% for selected brand medications. Restri- restrictions apply. Guys, I use ButcherBox ever since I found them on our show. Uh, better for me than the local grocery store. I'm not one that really knows how to pick out meats per se, and I never really know what I want. I don't want to go to the grocery store and buy up to 14 pounds of meat, which is what you get with ButcherBox, which is a subscription service that sends all these humanely raised, organic, grass-fed, different types of proteins to your house. Pork raised, crate-free, wild-caught, free-range, you name it, that's what it is. Uh, no antibiotics, no hormones. Get just what you want delivered to your doorstep. There's free shipping in the continental United States, so it's free to ship. So there's no charge for ordering it. Okay, choose from a variety of box options from ones that they curate to ones that you can customize and uh, change your plan whenever you want. Uh, Exclusive member deals so you save big over your favorite cuts. There's recipe inspirations, guides, tips, and hacks. Some are even personalized. Uh, It's a really cool service. You can stop it whenever you want. Um, They have seasonal meals. Check it out. Just check it out. I'm sure you'll like it. The main course for Thanksgiving dinner uh, can sometimes be a main source of stress. Not anymore, right? ButcherBox is offering our listeners free turkey with the first order. So sign up today at butcherbox.com slash taste buds and use the code taste buds to get one 10 to 14 pound turkey free with your first box. That's butcherbox.com slash taste buds and use the code taste buds to claim this deal. And then you go. Your Thanksgiving meal is, is off to a, a, a start. They were standing over me and they were like, dude, can you get up? And I was like, honestly, I don't know because I go, my knee feels so weird right now. I feel like it's going to give out if you pick me up, but I can't stand on it myself. Do you think that was a sign from a higher being that you weren't supposed to get a Keith Robinson stinks tattoo? Dude, I went. <laughs> I got to. I got outside. Uh, Rebecca Trent, one of the producers of Skagfest, came up to me. Congratulations to everybody over yeah. there, too. Uh, Christine, Rebecca, was, Lewis, and, and Lewis. On it another so successful fun. event. I know it's a beast to do, and... Uh, just it was really, really cool thing to do. The to make fans, it. thank you to Christine, Re- Rebecca, and Lewis, and thank you to all the Skank fans. But thank you also the Taste Buds love we were getting at you this were thing me. was so awesome. amazing. Oh my god, it was so cool. The whole event was so fun. Right on. Um, I so Rebecca Trent came up to me and she's like, "Oh my god, are you okay?" And I was like, "Look, I think I'll be fine, but I need ice." And I was like, "I need you to get me." to the tattoo place (laughs) i was like because i can barely walk right now oh my god and it was the only time right after it happened four people that didn't see you probably didn't even feel the tattoo because the aching from the ribs four people that didn't see it happen was the only time that this happened four people that didn't see it happen were like derosa can i get a pic it was the only time i was like 
dude, I'm really sorry, man. I need a minute. Like something yeah. just happened. That's all I said. And they were very cool. And I hope I was nice, but yeah. I tried to be. And I just said to Rebecca, I'm like, I have to get to this tattoo place. I'm limping. You have to get me there, please. And she was like, no problem. And she got me there. She got me sat down. And then she's like, here's ice. They brought me ice. And I Would got... they have a special designated room? Like where there was... Yeah, they had a tattoo room. Was it one guy or was it multiple? It was like four people. Okay. And how do, you know that, from, how do you know that you can trust the work? The guy, that, that, the main guy, I'm blanking on his name... He's a guy that Jay knows who's great. Okay. And he is I don't want a, a, a new tat for a minute, and I, I just don't want to go in blind. You couldn't go in and get, you really were supposed to get the designated tattoos they had, oh, but okay. they did me a solid and did okay. like some whatever. And they were, but they were free and sang pest. No, 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 I paid. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, everybody had to pay. But anyway, um, and I got tattooed like with the ice on my knee, and I thought my knee was going to be bad because my knee hurt so bad, dude, and it was so wobbly. And then I and the, I finished the tattoos and I stood up and I was like, my knee doesn't hurt at all anymore. And Brittany, the girl who's tattooing me, who was very cool, she was like, does anything hurt? And I go, my side kind of hurts, but I think it'll be okay. And then I went and crashed Legion of Skanks. And I got on stage at Legion of Skanks and I was sitting and talking and I was going like this. I was going, so anyway, got... Uh, like that, because it started doing, like, the cramp yeah, up. Sure, sure, sure. And I immediately, after I left Legion of Skanks, that was fun. Whitney was there. She came in, and we, we had Houston. fun. Yeah, Houston. Yeah, back from the dead. Cummings? For Halloween. Yeah, Whitney Cummings was there. It was fun, man. Uh, anyway, we, we, we hung out for a while on that, on, on Skanks, and then Skanks ended, and I had to do the comedy jam that night. Oh. And I called Josh, and I go, bro... I don't think I can sing, dude. I can't do this. He's like, bro, you can sing. It's got to be <laughs> fine, dude. <laughs> and the medic found me. The medic got me. He gave me um, a leave. He's like, you can take four leave. That'll help until you can get four. until you can get prescription stuff okay. and put these patches on. They're like a step above Bengay. And I did. And I felt good enough. To and sing, I did the comedy jam. To sing what? I did Time of My Life from Dirty Dancing. Wow, it was always a hit. And dude, and it was... I liked it, right? I'm sure. Everybody was singing. Yeah. Jay, Becky Rodriguez came on stage. Jay did the lift with her. It was it Did was he righteous. pull it off? No. Yeah, that's, <laughs> they that's, tried that's, it three times and he couldn't, yeah, he couldn't do that's it. That's hard to do. It man. was fun. It how, was so fun. How was... I got to text Jay. How was his special? Awesome. Yeah? Yeah, it was did great. Were you there for it? I saw, I saw a lot of the first taping. Okay. And then I had to go do. What did the, the room look like? What did the space look like? It was. It was like they had the Skanks logo behind them, which looked really cool. It was like lit and like it looked really cool. How it was big, very how many well lit. In the room. Hundreds. I don't know how many total. I'm but, just wondering if it's intimate or not. You know, it That's was awesome. sort of intimate, but sort of not. Like okay. you know what I mean? Like. It was well. I heard he had it very early in the day to avoid everyone being blackout drunk. He did. He did like a one p.m. and a four p.m. And it, he did great. And smart. and Ari was worked on it with him. Every it was awesome. The awesome. whole great. The whole thing was so much fun, man. It just seeing everybody bonding, bonding with people I haven't seen in a while. Mm -hmm. I hung out with Nick Vatterot for a while. I haven't seen him in oh, a long wow. time. Yeah, he's great. We were just hanging out. This PGA. was in Vegas. Vegas, yeah. So what? Were you contained to Skank Fest, right? No one did like Vegas. No one like went. Like no, we would leave. It was in downtown Vegas. We would leave and go gamble and stuff. Oh, you would? Yeah, Sean Patton was there. Oh, great. Hi, I'm with Sean Patton a lot. Um, yeah, we were all gambling. Shane Gillis was there. Six was there. I was at the Golden Nugget. It was a blast. Yeah? Yeah, big suite at the Golden Nugget. I, I, Is that was, where the everybody was? Half of us were at Golden Nugget, half of us were at Circa. They're right across the street from each Circa? other. Circa? Yeah. Yeah, they're right across the street. Circa on Free Circus? No, Circa. Oh, right is. across the street on Fremont Street. Okay. Yeah. And then um, the venue was called, I think, Notoriety. Dude, it was a blast, man. Good, good, good. It was an absolute blast. Like, you know, um, you any steve -O yelled at me on stage. That was wild. Yelled at you? I was doing What's Your Fucking Deal? It yeah. was the audience, Mike. Yeah. And it was kind of weird because the audience had to stand because of the venue. So I couldn't like easily get into the audience the way we usually do it. Okay. Because nobody was seated. So I had to like kind of stay on stage. And like if, if somebody wanted to talk to somebody, I had to like kind of jump off and run to the. It was, it was, and he was the first guy up. 
And like, and he he did apologize. He hugged me and apologized, but he did yell at me on yeah, stage. Tell me the context. Tell me. He Steve was someone I'd never met. We I tried passed. telling him before we went on what was going to happen, and he was kind of like, "Cool, Dad. Cool, cool." And I was like, <laughs> "Thanks." <laughs> and I just remember as he was saying it to me, I was like, "He's not listening, and he's not. He he's just not listening." And right. then he was first. And I was like, yeah, this is going to be a thing. And he came on stage and he started kind of like talking about how he doesn't really do crowd work anymore. And he started telling some stories. That's not how you do it. And it was, I don't say this to be shitty. No, I know because I've done it so many times. Like you can't start getting into stories. Yeah. What's the format of the show for the audience? It's just crowd work. You interact with the audience. It's a hundred percent crowd work. Yeah. And they got one comic in the audience with a mic to be able to. So There's a crowd work mic that's out there the whole time. I was the crowd work guy. I always do it for Jay when when I can, and uh, Jay hosts it. And sorry, I should have explained it. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you're like but, the altar boy of the show. Yeah, okay. you're out there the whole time. It's wild. Okay. Uh, so I was trying to tell Steve that's how it's going to go, and he was just like, yeah, yeah. And then like he came on stage first. I was like, oh boy, he's not seeing how this we do it, and we're dealing with all these weird factors because everybody's standing and all this stuff. And he he turned to me. I was just standing behind him because I was like, he's not. He said he doesn't want to do crap. I don't know what to do. And he was like, he whipped. He took his dick out at one point. Nice. Nice. How how, how was it? I saw it up close. It was good. Good? Yeah, it it was nice. Cool. But he turned to me. Why? Because he's Steve-O. <laughs> yeah, but still, what's the context? I forget, to be honest. My head was kind of racing because okay. I was like, I don't he, know what to do right didn't. now. Okay. Oh, weird. Anyway, he t- he was challenging the audience, like people in the audience to come up and take their dick out. And then he was like, I'll do it first. And then he took his dick out. And he turned to me. I said something. And he turned to me. And he was like, yeah, dude, because you're supposed to be out of here fucking helping me, man. And I'm fucking bombing, dude. Like, I'm asking you to take your fucking dick out and you won't do it. And I go, <laughs> I swear to God, this is my first interaction ever with Steve-O, yeah. a man I've greatly admired <laughs> by, for much of my life. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and I go, bro, I'm not taking my dick out. Right. And he goes, no shit, dude. And I go, motherfucker, I'm out here to try to help you. You're not fucking talking, but what do you want me to do, dude? And he's like, yeah, well, you can fucking take your dick. And I was like, all right. And I go, who wants to take your dick out? And I got some people to come up and do it. And then Steve, and this was what, like, I think broke the ice and bonded us a little bit. Steve-O, he was, like, laughing at the guys taking their dicks out. And then he goes, he goes, I'm actually not a confident dude. I'm really insecure and i go really because you seem pretty fucking confident when you came at me you fucking asshole and uh and he started laughing and he's like i'm sorry i'm sorry and then when he was leaving the stage he hugged me like privately and was like dude i didn't mean to yell at you i was just trying to be funny i'm really really and i was like it's okay it's okay it's okay but so it's fine but in that moment it was fucking very awkward yeah it was. like what am i it's easy to bomb that show too yeah it's easy to bomb one of my fucking comedy heroes is yelling at me right now that's funny you know or not hero you know what i mean though yeah, like yeah, a guy yeah. that i really Imagine love bombing with your dick out though i feel for steve on that he moment. wasn't yeah. once the dick started coming out was fine okay. he wasn't bombing with his dick out he just was his story what like you said the stories don't work yeah because you especially first because they said it's gonna be a crowd show crowd work show and he was telling us, I'm not saying it to knock him, not in any way trying to be inflammatory. It was all good. It was just a very funny story. Uh, and then Pepitone came out second. And Pepitone was fucking Did he hilarious. level the place? Dude, it was so, so many people in the audience were clearly on drugs. And I, I went into the audience where Pepitone was just standing in there amongst people. And he, I said it Eddie, to Eddie at one point. I go, dude, the collision of your comedy versus the people on drugs in this audience is so funny because people around me, I just kept hearing them go, what the fuck, dude? Because <laughs> Pepitone's <laughs> version of crowd work, he would be like, he'd be like, have you ever seen a cat in a window <laughs> and your wife wants you to look and you say, who gives a shit? People are starving. <laughs> it was so insane, dude. And I was laughing so fucking. And it, 
And he goes, but he asked me that. He goes, have you seen a cat in a window? I go, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. And he goes, you're here to help me. <laughs> <laughs> he opened with the dicks because he followed the dicks thing. He opened with, he goes, I for one thought that routine should have went 20 minutes longer. <laughs> it didn't go long enough. <laughs> Dude, it was that's great. It was a fucking wild, wild. It was crazy. <laughs> that's great. Did, did you stop by the naked roast battle? I I always wanted to see that. No, I had no. zero interest in a naked roast battle. No offense to anybody, but uh, I I'm not a big uh, look. I was there by default for the dicks coming out on stage. Okay, okay. I, I'm not going to purposefully go look at dicks on stage. You're lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds like I'm above it, which I am. <laughs> but, but no, I didn't. But go you to Nick also think you're above the almond joy. Oh, look at these king of the segways. This, you did that segue on the last one too. Which, which I'm with just you? trying to steer the ship, babe. <laughs> right, wow. I mean, we're, we're, we're well into this, yeah. Oh go. shit! Yeah, all was, right, all right. Thought maybe you wanted to know how a friend had a, 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 did with his weekend. I did for forty minutes. I'm just trying to help <laughs> us. To, <laughs> just trying to t get to the battle. Will you give me that hat forever? Oh no, no, no! Why? You can wear it now. No, I want it forever. Uh, it's one of my favorite hats. Give it to me. And I don't know if it's available anymore. You know where to get one. Give it to me. Truly, I bought this years ago. Yeah. I don't know if they still sell. If they still sell, I'll buy you one. If I get you to do it. If they still sell, I'll buy you one. Not, this is one no, of the only hats. This joking. is one of the only hats I own that you couldn't have. If you, just, if you ask. I, I have asked for it in the past. No way. Yeah. No way. No, I asked for it, and you said, no, I'm not ready to part with this. Are you serious? Yeah, you were giving me a hat for some reason. I, you said, just pick one. You can keep it. I said, I like that one. You said, I'm not ready to part I'm with ready, that I'm one. Ready. Don Jameson told me that's a thing he would do when that metal show was on the air. He said, fans would come up to it. He would go, can I have your watch? <laughs> No, just give it to me. And he said, sometimes they he would just, he goes, just to see if they would do it. He goes, sometimes they did. No way. <laughs> That's insane. Anyway. All right. Ready? Here we go. Oh, wait. Are we doing a chant? <sighs> you don't have it in you? Hey, what's worse? I don't think we're going to get too heated. All right. How about it, no matter what happens? All right. No? I think well, that's for heated. I think salting the costumes would be fun. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ready? <laughs> Yeah. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. You look better now than you do without wearing the hot dog costume. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yes. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. A hamburger suit added zero girth to your body. You just filled it out. You just filled it out. That was a good one. All right, ready? <laughs> Here we go. All right, what's worse? The Almond, get this out of there. Yeah. What's worse, the Almond Joy or the Three Musketeers? I guess we should hold our respectives, right, that we're repping. I'm repping the Three Musketeer. No, no, but you got this backwards, bro. Give me the thing I hate. We're doing okay. worst. I can't. This is, as I said to V before we started, this is Nana Candy. There, it, this is, it's a disgrace that somebody took coconut, the worst of all fruits, there's no worse fruit than coconut. And Disagree. put chocolate around it and said, there you go. There's your candy bar. That was the mounds. This and then they go. Just describe the mounds. And then you go, guys, you go, guys, really? This is all I get? And they go, we'll up the ante. We'll throw in almonds. I mean, what a horror. It's not even almonds. It's one almond per thing. Oh, my God. It's one big ass almond. Let me tell you something it's right now. You're horrible. Gonna lose on, you're going to lose on that because just in and of itself, by default, the mounds is not as good as the almond joy. So you should have went mounds. We didn't uh, have a mound. An we had an almond joy. Only helps. We only had an almond joy, and you said you love an almond joy, and I said I hate I an almond joy. I, I honestly do. I think an almond joy is. I, I don't. I don't hate a mounds, but I think an almond joy is. Think about this. this. To me, think is worse. This is. This is why this is worse than almond joy. Ready? The addi the addition the of the almond is an insult. It's like when you leave a tip, but you leave like a dollar, but the bill was like fifty dollars. It would have been better just not to leave a tip. That's not what it is. It's you taking, know what I mean. It's, it's like taking this is a an flavor insult. combination that already existed in mounds, which I also like, and saying what's a way to elevate this in an understated way that will give it a whole new flavor profile, and it works. Okay, I understand what you mean by a nana candy because I don't know. I, I think Mounds would. I think you'd be surprised at how many people like Almond Joy. I don't think coconut is the worst. I like coconut. Coconut is very versatile. 
coconut, coconut too. You can have coconut shrimp. You can have coconut like with chocolate. Coconut shrimp infuriate me. You're taking something as wonderful as the fried shrimp and adding this sweetness to it that doesn't need to be there. Coconut shrimp can take a hike. I like coconut I flavor in one or two things here or there, but it's got to be something in addition to something else. Coconut is never... Ever, and I mean ever, never, the star of the show. For you to put coconut as the star but of the show it, is insane. It's not, because it works. What do you mean? Why would you say it's not the star of the show when in, in an Almond Joy it is? In an Almond Joy in a Mounds, I mean, it is the almond. You know what I see when I see this? It's actually delicious. That, that coconut in there is delicious. I'm going to taste it today. But you know what I see when I see this? I see something that I think is going to taste like a York peppermint patty, and then it's not. And I don't know sucks. why you think that. Because it's it looks exactly the same when you bust it open. Did you ever bust it Show us an opened That's up. That's mint. I know. It looks exactly the same, though. Eh, not really. When you open up that an almond. more texture. The, 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 the peppermint patty is, is, is like a, almost like a, a light cream. Like no, no, no. Open cream. up an Almond Joy, I mean. there's Okay, so there's the peppermint patty, right? The Almond Joy. You can see the oh, coconut. Look how we spell the almond. <laughs> see, you see that. Like, but it looks like it's going to. They're both white, I guess. Sure. Ugh, look at that. They give I you actually one like the way nut. they do it, too. They put the two nuts oh, right on top. Look and at then that. Let the, I, it looks on. like a growth. Ew, look at it. I think it's cool instead of burying it in there. I like how they, they say two full nuts to a half, and I like how they put it on top and then let the chocolate rain down and then stiffen, and you have the two, and then when you bite it, you know exactly where to bite. I, I like it. I, I just can't think of anything worse. If you're going to fill up a vacuum of chocolate with something, I can't think of anything worse than coconut well, outside of the strawberry cream that you get in those candy I hate boxes those. at, I at, hate at, those. at, That's at, not what at Valentine's. About. Let me actually use your own argument against you, if I may, okay? Oh. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> it's my goiter, isn't throat. it? <laughs> That's another Seinfeld. It's my goiter, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Here's, ready? It's a great one. Yeah. Ready? You're like, how do you put uh, coconut in a chocolate? Wait, bar? can I say my favorite line from that episode? Sure. When Seinfeld goes, "I hate my guy. He's a mean guy." <laughs> All right, yeah. God, sorry. When they're babysitting the older people. Yeah, the yeah. old guy that babys that he is is so good. Yeah. Wouldn't be getting rid of it then, would I, yeah. Einstein? That <laughs> yeah. guy's so awesome. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. No, I want to use your argument against you. You're like, how do you take something like coconut and put it in a chocolate bar? Well, I will tell you this. They're the only ones that do it. And for me, that makes it extra special. There's not a version of Almond Joy. If you want coconut in a bar, you get in Mounds or Almond Joy. And if you want a nut and coconut in a bar, that's your one stop shop. There's no other one. Wherein, as we just said, the Baby Ruth is the exact ingredients as the Snickers. Everybody's playing the same game. They got chocolate. They got nuts. They got I caramel, see an array of candy nougat. bars here, and I see an array of uh, different flavors and, and textures and, and ingredients. Caramel. Nougat. Chocolate. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Nougat. That's not peanut caramel. butter. This is, that this one's is caramel. Cookie. Caramel. This is cookie. Don't You're, rule out cookie. But it's caramel. But yeah, but there's cookie. But I'm just saying, dude. Caramel. This is almonds and chocolate. Almonds. This is almonds and chocolate. Hey, throw me that. Throw me the Snickers. Throw me the Snickers. Caramel. 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 Okay. Okay, okay wait, wait. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Nougat. 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 Okay, there's okay. a reason for that. I'll tell you why. You put down, you put six, you put six cheeseburgers from six different cheeseburger restaurants next to each other. Ketchup, 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 <laughs> cheese, cheese. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Those are the things that make a burger taste awesome. Those are the thing. The everything you're naming is what makes a candy bar taste awesome. And once in a while, you'll go. That's the only burger place that puts. Uh, uh, <laughs> head cheese on a burger or whatever, some goofy thing that nobody else does. And you go, yeah, because it sucks. Like, I don't want that. That's a real dumb argument. That's the one burger place that actually puts peanut let, butter on their speak, burgers, and it speak, sucks. I let you speak the whole time. It was a dumb argument. No, it's not. It is. No, it's I'm not. I'm saying there's like four or five main ingredients that every candy bar goes off of outside of chocolate. And I'm saying if you want caramel in your bar you got a hundred options if you want caramel and peanuts you still have a hundred options if you want nougat you got a hundred options some of them are fucking identical that is a one of one so, almond joy is it broke but the my mold. point is my point is is i'll, I'll make I'll, I'll make the argument make more sense with the burger analogy 
you'll find one burger place that puts bananas on the burger. And they'll go, it's called the Elvis, get it? And you go, okay, it sucks. I don't want that. And there will be a handful of people that tell you, dude, that's the best burger that ever existed. And you just don't know what you're talking about because bananas are good. And you, you, you. it's the same thing you're talking about here. I don't believe that is. There's though. a reason. Bananas on meat is different than something. No, that, it's not. These, these flavors go together. They do go together. There I, are I those that, on I'm not saying that coconut and chocolate don't go together. I am saying coconut is not the star of that show. You better put some other shit into that mix. This is coming from you who doesn't like coconut. There is a contingent, no, I like a large one. Hold on, I already... No, no, no. You can't do that. You can't do that. And by the way, at Skankfest, it was pointed out to me many times that you do this to me. But I said two minutes ago... you are there. No, I said five they minutes... Said to talk to you to your face. I said five minutes ago, I don't dislike coconut. It's just not the star of the show. You called coconut the absolute worst fruit there is. It is. Doesn't mean I don't like it. Would I eat coconut? <laughs> it is. You gonna? And then I said, you "Well, don't no, like cantaloupe coconut. is cantaloupe." I said, fruit. "You don't like coconut," and you say, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" I didn't say that. And everybody at Skank Fest because told I me said to, because I said to you right after that, I don't, I don't dislike coconut flavor and things. I don't like coconut. And th- I don't dislike coconut and things. I like it in things, but it's not the star of the show. It can't be the but main thing. But it is in this bar, and it's the and only bar that does it. I don't think it works. It. I, I know, all right, but you're wrong. I disagree. People like Almond Joy. Talk about why the Three Musketeers is bad. It fucking is the worst candy bar in the world. There's two ingredients. Wow. There's two ingredients, okay? And we don't even know what the hell that other ingredient is. Do you know what it's called on the packaging? Nougat. Whipped. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's called whipped up fluffy chocolate taste. That's what's in the middle. Whipped up fluffy to- chocolate taste. I don't believe you taste. that it says that. This tried to go simple. Show me where it says I, that. Throw it to me. Don't show me from over there. Read it out loud with your glasses. No, that's not listed as an ingredient. See, I knew that's what he was doing, and that's why I asked to see it. It's saying that's their description of the candy bar. Whipped up fluffy Throw chocolate back. taste. Throw it, back. it doesn't say that, that that is an ingredient. Throw it back. I knew you were lying. Hold on. Let's see what it is. Nougat. It's- no, nougat is not one of the ingredients. It would say nougat, nougat, bro. It would say nougat. Because nougat isn't... It doesn't say nougat on a Snickers bar ingredients either. You can't call nougat an ingredient. Are you nuts? That's what it says in the side part, in the description. Nougat's not going to be... They're going to write on the back what makes up nougat. This is... This feels like just... They tried something with little effort. So let me speak. Go ahead. I let you speak. Go ahead. Okay? This... You call that a nana bar? My grandma had... Two types of bars in our house at all times. When we were little, like those Hershey packs, they sold mini mini bags and these with the two in it. The Milky Way and the Three Musketeers. And you always take the Milky Way over it because it was better ingredients and it was a better combination of ingredients. Musketeers is like, what's the littlest effort I can do? I don't even know. That thing in the middle is not good. That It's just like fluffy chocolate nothing covered in chocolate. It's Nothing's new going on with this bar. There's no excitement. It, they've never ever deviated in any way. They've never shown me anything that is like the least to. bit innovative. They didn't need to. It's it's old hat. Neither of these guys. Everything you're saying applies to this. I will tell you right now. Everything I will tell you right now. You and I camped out in, uh, inside a convenience store. <laughs> okay? If we can't, and we watched for one week people walk in and get chocolate. I guarantee you, no one is walking in off the street and selecting the three musketeers that they're paying for as their number one choice of a candy bar. People will do either. it with an Almond Joy. But and people that love Almond Joy, just like you don't like that, there's people that say, I love it and there's no else to get it and they're diehards. An old person who can't chew things probably goes in. Same as this, buddy. This is no. so... I kids love right. the three musketeers. No kids love this. It's a huge... No kids love... It's Even a, the name is like a hundred-year-old story. It's a huge Halloween candy bar. It's a staple at Halloween with candy. This never is. This never is, got this in my that's, Halloween that's, bag once. Almond never is, once. The almond is a prestigious nut and that's in there. And coconut... <laughs> and coconut is also prestigious, and that's in there. This is nothing. This is lower ball shit. You just this said, is in the lower ball. This is like this argument. Is, You're all over the place. You're all over mean? the place. You said kids don't like that. That's bullshit. And I said that's a staple Halloween candy. This is not. Kids do it like absolutely that. is. Mounds and almond joy minis are staple in the bag. 
They're a staple, just like this. They both are. That's I'm amazing. not saying this is not, but this is the most underwhelming candy bar there is. I've never been excited to have one. If there was one on the table, you know, we were just all hanging out, I would be like, I don't want a Three Musketeers. Apropos of nothing, I wouldn't eat it because it's not good. The chocolate isn't good enough to sustain itself. It's not like when you bite into like a really good chocolate bar and you're like, this chocolate is delicious. The chocolate is and chocolate, and the middle is eh, and there's nothing to it. It's a one-two combination where they think simplicity was going to be on their side. And it's yes! like, it it's is! It's a leading candy bar! It's boring as all But it's death. a leading candy bar! What do you so mean they I'm thought enjoying. it was going to be so on their side? Enjoy, you hot dog head. I know, and as I've said, every argument you're making applies to your candy bar. But, but wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you like about this, Joe? What do you like about it? It's a chocolate flavor with a chocolate moussey texture on the inside that is a slightly different chocolate flavor. It's a good chocolate flavor. You, and you That's say, it. You would say that this candy bar is good? You would say that, that candy bar reminds me of a, of a fast... Of a, I'm going to say fast food because candy bars are the fast food of candy, right? They're, they're, they're not... They're not <laughs> what? Why are you rolling your eyes at that? Because I can't make sense of what you're saying. You can't make sense of the fact that candy bars are a cheap, quick, fast version of quality candy? What's quality candy? Like, you're not getting, like, Baker's fucking fudge when you buy a candy bar. You're not getting truly made Italian cookie. Uh, you know what I'm saying. If you go to an Italian shop in Brooklyn and they make homemade candy, that's a much higher quality candy than M&M's. I wouldn't like it. It's a fast food candy. Okay, it's convenience store food. Is that good enough? Sure. Yeah, there you go. Kind of like fast food. Weird. Anyway, uh... <laughs> It's convenience store. It's a convenience store version of something, but I would say that's almost like a chocolate moussey, a convenience store version of chocolate, chocolate mousse. I understand you don't like coconut in that, but yeah. you're gonna you're gonna also, you're gonna stick up for this. Okay. It is a convenience store version of a chocolate mousse type of experience. Yes, that's what I always think it's of not, when I eat that. I mean, you just you gotta took, go to the phones, you, by the way. Well, I'll, we'll go to the phones when I'm. We'll go to the phones. Well, did you did you almost just say when I'm ready? We'll go to the phones when I'm done making my point. Oh, okay. Yeah, Did cool. you almost but tell me you were going to say, yeah, Pim thinks well, so, we're too. ready to go to the phones. Oh, we got your number. You had that Sharpling kid fooled last week with your nice guy routine. Here's the real fucking Sal. Hey, Tom, I hope you're watching. Here's the real Sal. Go ahead. You're a big, just steaming windbag of negativity. <laughs> Why you're am I negative? You're a big windbag of negativity that likes to shout... And you you will you will latch on to an argument when it serves you, even if you don't believe it. And just now, you know I watched I you take a bite of a Three Musketeers. I and enjoyed I watched it. You lie to our to our fans. Have them try it. Have them try I it. I watched you lie. I enjoyed it. I know that even if you don't like the almond joy, you can't bite into a Three Musketeers and look at us with a straight hot dog face and tell me that that was enjoyable the because nerve. it's the most plain, underwhelming, I forgettable en nothing. Enjoyed it. You don't even know what the ingredients I are. I didn't. Um, enjoy that <laughs> the nerve that they put joy in the title of this candy bar the nerve joy's in the title there you go three musketeers yeah, it's try it. what is somebody it? try it v I'm good. They're, they're why trash. is it even called a three musketeers <laughs> all right huh why is it called a three musketeers it's it's maybe it's, legendary literary characters they're trying to get the kids to read that's the stupidest thing i've ever heard <laughs> Well, look is it up. It, I don't know they're, why they're it's called that. An, 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 an old literary story and naming it after the candy bar. These are three people that fight with fencing swords. 1932, it came in a box that had three mini candy bars in it. Oh, like V said, one was strawberry, one was chocolate, and one was vanilla. And the other two got completely axed So right they went away. full chocolate eventually. Okay, that's why. Three Musketeers. Can I, can I, can I just see? Wait, what, is, what is the thing in the middle? Can we, can we find that out? What is the thing in it's the middle? It's chocolate nougat, for Christ's sake. Is it nougat? Yes. I don't know if it is. What else would it be, Sal? Why wouldn't it just say nougat? Because they're trying to make it sound different. Nougat Chocolate Center. Christ almighty. Made by whipping eggs. Creating until... a frappe. Similar to, yeah. to fucking what I was saying. A, More a like mousse. a crappe. Anyway, can we go to the phone? Sure, I just wish now, I'm going to walk away from this episode, though, knowing you're a, you're a phony baloney. Why? You like Meryl Streep? Uh, what? If you're quoting Seinfeld, you don't know that one? Yeah, that's a phony. phony she was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you kick over that coffee? I'm getting nervous. Look at me. I just think you're phony because I know that you didn't think that that was great, and you pretended like it was. I liked it. I took two bites. I didn't take two you bites out of any other candy bar except the payday. I liked it. Why can't you accept me? There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. Why to can't it. you let me be me? There's nothing to it. Three Musketeers. <laughs> Wait. 
That's a funny thing to say when you're wearing a hot dog. <laughs> Why won't you let me be me? <laughs> Nobody's uh, holding you back. The, uh, I don't know. Man. All right, to the phone. It's, I, I think the Three Musketeers is embodies. You know why you like it? The, the one word I would use. Well, what's the one word you would use to describe any candy bar? Was like delicious, 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 chocolatey. This is gross. Dog shit. You know how I would describe that first before anything else? Boring. Yeah, you've made that point seventeen no, times. No, I didn't say boring. <laughs> yeah, you did. I didn't say. You've I said think, you've used I, different words. I we get your I point. I think it's appropriate so. that 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 you like that because it's just. A oh yeah, because you know me, I'm such a bore. It's just a plain old boring thing. Yeah, yeah, you know me, just a simple life. I don't do anything crazy. No, I just, no. yeah, you're a real yeah. fucking bore. <laughs> You're all right. A, I'm going to start calling you Three Musketeers from now on. Okay. You're an underwhelming bore. All right. All right. Did you get your last words in? You happy? You satisfied, you're big last, man? You're getting the last words in. All right. Go ahead. Let's go to the People phones. Who don't I, like, I tell you right now, I want this win more than I wanted one in a while. Right. People who don't like coconut have never been on a beach vacation and it shows. There you go. You even said it yourself. Well, that's I'm reading the thing. Three Musketeers. Joey T can't afford vacations that are not domestic. All right. <laughs> Three Musketeers. That's funny to make fun of somebody's welfare. That's really funny. That's good. Three, Three Musketeers, Musketeers bar, bar is, is always a safe, safe choice. choice. Ugh. If you're looking for chocolate, almond joys are for oldsters and people who think nacho cheese is too spicy. <laughs> I don't get that. They put joy in the name because it's nowhere to be found in the candy. Mike, drop, nah, baby. Three Musketeers can walk right into that ditch Joe loves so much. <laughs> there you go. If you pick Three Musketeers, you're either under 13 years old or have diabetes. One contains a nut and the other makes me bust a nut. Really? For me, I could take or leave the almond. The almond joys for coconut or chocolate combo that I eat and enjoy every time I eat. With Three Musketeers, I feel horrible after. <laughs> there you go. I'll... I'll pass on the coconut turd any time. Um, I'm enjoying simply no fucking way. Three Musketeers remind me of <laughs> sticky poop mixed with belly button lint. It needs to back up. Uh, oh, uh, Three Musketeers is the clear, clear choice. Almost as disappointing as the real Three Musketeers. <laughs> Supposed heroes for the people were actually just three perverts. Cause, okay. Wait, I don't get that. That, that sentence goes is a pro and... Con for Three Musketeers in the same sentence. No, there's. he said the candy bar is as disappointing as the real Three Musketeers. The oh. real Three Musketeers weren't actually heroes, I guess. I don't know. Coconut is man <laughs> its own. Add it to chocolate and magical things happen. Wait, can you just go up a little bit? Almond Joy is great for when you need to squirt out a week of heavy drinking and drug use. Okay. Perfect after Skankfest. That's interesting. Dang, I read it wrong. I voted Almond Joy is the worst. Oh, see? See? Hey, man, it's how much not my fault there. that people, you know, you, 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 you got to not click immediately. You, Shut your you goddamn know. mouth. Almond Joys are delicious all caps. Three Musketeers is 80% air and 100% shit. I couldn't agree with you more. That fluffy air, too, in there, they, 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 they're getting full price for a candy bar. That's the not only joy I get out of Almond Joys is giving them to kids on Halloween knowing I had a key part in ruining their festivities. Three yes. Musketeers is garbage. Even a mini is too damn useless, disgusting fluff. I need to publicly apologize to the Milky Way bar. Right. I used to think it was the same thing. No, not at all. They should call it Almond Suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Three Musketeers is actually one of my favorites, but I love them frozen. That's a great point. Frozen Three Musketeers is great. All, All right. right, let's give the win to this is uh, this is split, man. I don't know, I know. who's going to win. I know. I would say the win is the ditch comment. No, just because it's. I mean, it's inside baseball, but they're all good. Huh. You could pick who. Uh, the almond joy. I would give it. I, I, me personally, I would put. I would pick. They gave. They put joy in the name because it's sure, more. To, sure. Let's give it to both of those: a pro joy and a con joy. So follow Devin Johnson forty four, and follow Shelton underscore Buell, which is spelled B U E L L. Okay. Uh, our plugs are at the top of the show. Please buy merch. Please subscribe. Please uh, like the video. It helps a lot. Right? Yeah, subscribe and follow us, us on, on iTunes. Uh, yeah, rate us on iTunes and follow us on all the social media platforms. Here we go. 7,000 votes. Oh, this is... A, so, wait, 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 wait. Which is worse? So, whoever has more loses. Whoever has the higher percentage here loses. 
Right? Because you're voting which one is worse. So if yes. yours, right? Okay. Yes. So I'm hoping that Three Musketeers has a higher percentage than I'm enjoying. Which made me just think of something, but I'll tell you after. Okay. I think, well, a lot of, I saw three people say I accidentally clicked Almond um, Joy. Yeah, the higher wi- wins. The, the higher wins. I mean, the lower wins. So I win. Yes. Oh, that's crazy. Yes. 55% Almond Joy is the worst candy wow, bar. Wow, that's close. Musketeers wins close. by. That was very close. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. No. I am shocked, You're dude. shocked? Yes. Come on, this dude. Is a, this is at least something original. Yours is I like, get that yours it's... Yours is like... Sal. They started to make a candy bar and stopped. They left Sal, out everything I get good. That it's, Sal, I get that it's original. But when you're growing... you're And, and then we'll, we got to wrap. But when you're growing up, when you think back to the candy bars from growing up, Almond Joy is not in, in the mix. Three Musketeers Three, is not either. Yes, it is. It's not. No, that doesn't excite any child. It was one of the child. ones that was there as Three part of the party. Three Musketeers does not excite any child. You know what I'm saying. I swear to God. it's like You know what it's like? It's like the first candy bar ever before they realized they could put other stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. Keep keep making that point over and over again. I made it once eight seconds ago and I clarified it. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. Uh, you, you, Let me guess. It's boring, right? You're dressed like a hot dog, bro. I know. It's Halloween. I know. Get in the spirit. Uh, you You... You are a fucking human hot dog. You're not good for anybody. I still love you. I can only, I can only take, you. take it one at a time. I He's not good for anybody. Still He's going to cause me to have a heart attack. Love you. I love you too. Taste buds. They come into the mic. Talking about the food they hate. Talking about the food they like. Two fools going to fight, but only one food.